Cloud Native ITN Networks is all about delivering true plug and play for our industry. Anybody who's been working in this industry for a while will realise that whenever we have to do a technology project, it takes a long, long time, typically years from beginning to the end, and that is having a real drag on our ability to be agile. And if the last two years have shown us anything, they've shown us that things are changing quicker than we ever thought they were changing before, and that I would say that for a, a technology company, um, the, or sort of for a technology unit within a service provider, the ability to be agile is probably the most important thing you need to be able to do at the minute. So as I say, Cloud Native IT and Networks is all about delivering that agile. So how have we done that? The first thing and the most, really the foundation of the whole thing is understanding, getting everybody using the same language and using the same terms. So we've introduced a process framework, ETOM, we've introduced an information framework, SID, and we've introduced a functional framework. These allow service providers, um, vendors, and systems integrators to have a common language so as they understand what's being delivered. It's not the end game, but it allows us to do things in a much more precise way. But there's more to do, and on top of that, we have delivered a set of APIs. We have over 60 REST-based open APIs and an associated data model. This gives us much more precision in terms of what we're actually getting in terms of the, the applications that we're deploying. And it now means we're into a position where you can deploy an application, not only do you know exactly what you're getting, but if you replace that application, you can do that with a minimal impact on the other systems that surround it. So this is another step towards cloud, um, plug and play. But it's not the end game. What we're now doing is we're introducing a set of components. These components are building on what's gone before. So they're going to be based upon the, the ETOM, the SID, the functional framework. They expose their functionality using the open APIs, but on top of that, they're actually going to define how these components will be operated and managed in life, and very importantly, the environment that they need um, to run. So that's the, the thing we're working on at the moment. We plan to have developed 20, specified 20 new components this year. But on top of that, what we're finding is increasingly um, the network is becoming software, as you all know. And the other thing we're doing with these components is we're seeing these components are not just going to be focused on the IT, the BSS and the OSS. We're also going to realize how can we use this component specifications so as we can define these reusable cloud native components in the network space as well. So I hope that's given you an overview of cloud native IT and networks. Um, if you want to find out more or if you would like to get involved, I would love to hear from you. So thank you very much for listening.